Allah Almighty says, O believers, take note for friends, my and your enemies. At-tajassus means to investigate. Hazrat Ubaidullah bin Abu Rafi'u says that he heard Hazrat Ali radiallahu anhu saying, Allah's apostle sallallahu alayhi wa sallam assigned me, Hazrat Zubair and Hazrat Miqdad bin Aswad a task and said, Keep on proceeding till you reach Rosa Khaq. There you will find an old woman who has a letter, so fetch that letter from her. Hence we set out in this way that our horses were running at full gallop till we reached that Rosa and found that there was really a woman sitting there. We asked her to take out the letter. She said, I do not have any letter. We said to her, Take out the letter, otherwise we will strip you off. At last, she took a letter from the big knot of her hair. So we took that letter from her and took it to Allah's apostle sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When it was seen, it was written by Hazrat Hatib bin Abu Balta to some of the polytheists which bore some pieces of information about Allah's apostle sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So Allah's apostle sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, What is it, O Hatib? He submitted, O Allah's apostle sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, do not take any prompt decision against me. I am a man who has come and settled with the Quraysh, though I am not a Qureshi. The immigrants along with the Prophet ﷺ have ties of kinship with Makkans, due to which their household and properties are secured. So I intended to favor them as I do not have any ties of consanguinity with them, so as to make my kith and kin secured. And I did not do so on account of infidelity or apostasy, nor I am pleased with infidelity after embracing Islam. Allah's apostle sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, You have spoken the truth. Hazrat Umar radiallahu anhu submitted, O Allah's apostle sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, command me to sever the neck of this hypocrite. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, He participated in the battle of Badr. And don't you know that Allah jalla jalaluhu being aware of the affairs of the participants of the battle of Badr, said, Do now whatever you like. I have pardoned you. Hazrat Sufyan said, what a nice chain this hadith has. Sahih Bukhari, Hadith number 3007.